Hi guys, we have uh, one uh, all-in-one uh, Windows uh, PC. So this is older generation, I would say. It's from HP. Oh, it's uh, excuse me, it's from Dell, and it's uh, Inspiron One, a specific model. So this is dated, I would say. It's even originally was Windows Seven. You can do your math. So yeah, it's still booting up. Uh, so the idea to boot up. See how slow it is, how good it is, and try to install Windows 10 uh, on top of it and see if it can fix uh, the problem. So this is touch screen as usual, oh, uh, all in one. Um, also has speakers here. It has a standard um, a Dell adapter, so you can reuse, let's say, from your laptop. It doesn't have any internal memory. Uh, sorry, sorry, battery. So it's booting up, so it doesn't have internal uh, uh, battery, so every time you need to have it plugged, then it's good that you can use standard uh, Dell adapter even from your laptop. So it's at the moment again it's touch screen 23 inches so it's big enough so the idea to see if it can be let's say in the kitchen is kind of entertainment center or just whatever pc just to use for casual uh, let's say email checking calendar events uh, media consumption is netflix and other and again control it but basically but touch screen without keyboard and mouse so but again it's it's a dated one so the idea if we can make it faster or at least more responsive on windows uh, 10 uh, let's see if it will help and if it's catch up uh, with latest drivers uh, and etc so I connected keyboard and mouse wireless, so then on the side we, we can see that we have volume. So let me focus volume. SD card reader, USB 2.0, one already got it for uh, a mouse and keyboard. Uh, headphones and microphone and power button and display of hard drive. On the other side, uh, let me also make, there is nothing except uh, a DVD drive and I guess it's a recorder or something, I'm not sure if anyone using this, but yeah, and camera on top. I guess this is main idea that it, it is where it is and it's, I don't know if you can hear, it's still uh, trying to boot up, It's it, it does have internal um, not SSD usually back that time, but normal hard drive. It's kind of noisy and still booting uh, all programs uh, out there. So let's see, check the specs. So as we can see, we have Windows 7 Home Premium. So uh, the model is Dell Inspiron at 2305. Uh, back that time they have even rating. I guess they remove it at some point. Also, a processor processor is AMD uh, Aslan uh, 2x2 to basically I believe it will be two core 1.6. We have four gigabyte memory here and all touch screen and 64 bit encryption. I believe we will have some expansion out there. I'm not sure if and what's memory there to figure out. And yeah, um, this one and hard drive as I said. Something I don't know if you can get it from here. Let's see my computer uh, Yeah, pretty good size like 60 maybe 70 ish whatever 60 uh, Yeah, it's supposed to maybe 7 uh, 720 or whatever uh, 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 So and a lot of free space. So yeah and DVD so yeah time to upgrade it's matter to go to uh, uh, BIOS and after that using stick USB and see if we can boot up from USB and install the windows from, uh, from it. So guys we are in BIOS already put the USB with windows installation in this case Dell doesn't work but on F2 work it so yeah we in Again, uh, we have the same Aslan uh, 2, 250U, I guess it's mobile version of it back the time. And yeah, uh, 250 gigabyte, uh, 750 gigabyte, we have two serializers, so let's see how, what we boot, 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 
Oh, USB storage. Look at that. We got it. So we will change. Uh, uh, oh, uh, USB storage. USB storage device. And after that, we saying hard drive, right? So this is what we do. Other than that, we leave us as so safe. Yes. Yeah, I guess it's me. And here we have. Huh, as you can see, it's not made, so you can see me back. Again, we do install. Yeah, uh, looks like we got the Windows 10 in uh, installing from here. So yeah, it will be another process. I guess it's not part of this video. Let's do installation. So we'll stop here and we'll resume when we are back to Windows uh, 10. Yeah, so far it's so good. So I killed the old partitions what were with Windows 7. So this label it's not actual or relevant anymore and installation and process i guess it will take a while because it's we have usb2 here and slightly older hardware so yeah let's wait how it goes so we officially uh, on windows 10 uh, so we right now we're doing some updates to the latest version of windows 10 uh, so yeah, it's kind of longer process. It took already a while. Uh, so what we got by default, no other driver is installed. We got Wi-Fi. Let's hook up to uh, current Wi-Fi, which is good. Resolution of Windows uh, of screen is off. It's supposed to be full HD, but it's uh, but it's not at the moment. But for time being, yeah, default is uh, my installation in. A total commander uh, I got it and I got it a CPU Z so let's see again what we got here so uh, to f uh, as long uh, x2 to 50 max DTP 24 watts so yeah back at that time it was cool uh, AM3 uh, socket what else model will skip all other stuff 1.6 only two cores and two threads so mm -hmm. It will not fly. So let's see what else we have. Cache, different levels. Less again, Dell uh, motherboard looks like here. Yeah. Memory, memory, memory. We're looking DDR3, and in my case, I have. Oops, sorry guys. Some extra, and it looks like what we have here. If you can read, yeah, uh, 8 gigabytes. So maybe we can upgrade if we want to along the way. So, uh, 8, so what we have total 4 gigabytes here. Let's go one by one, uh, slot one, and it's only two slots, 2 gigabytes. Yeah, back that time, and even usually really, uh, they put uh, the same. So, 2 plus 2, and it's single, it's not even. Uh, dual motor so this one let's go to graphics i guess it's not installed it's just recognized the uh, at radeon so yeah amd stuff uh, benchmark yeah we good here let's get gpu z so we will should get better information here again drivers are not installed so yeah we have rs 800 880M uh, release date 2009 and it's almost like 10 years old and wow oh yeah and we have touch screen uh, enabled at the beginning wow which is cool okay anyway sorry uh, yeah so default also recognize a touch screen uh, sub vendor Dell uh, would be moving forward only DDR2 which is well so system has DDR3 and usually graphics card moving forward uh, further along but it's opposite it's kind of dated DDR2 and 250 megabytes so it looks like we will not play GTA in full <laughs> full blown experience so uh, GPU clock and memory clock it's almost 600 uh, memory 400 default 6 and 6 oh okay so 600 and 600 Let's see if we can uh, maybe a little bit overclock just for fun, but after all installation. Okay, so we good here, and again, just while we speak, from 9, I believe, we'll when you saw it 16, so time. Let's wait for this update. Thank you. 
in the middle of the update it's already we already got full hd uh, resolution which is neat let's go to display settings yeah before it was something super off and yeah i don't I'm sure if i still can detect so it's no not all information here but oh no you have recommend there is no more like uh, 1080p resolution is is the one and let me go to display properties so flat 60 i guess it will not go any further again 21 a long way to go so another day here so i successfully installed windows 10 professional here uh, so most of stuff and it was up updated to latest updates uh, full hd 60 hertz all good uh, wireless connected uh, uh, sound only issues are still here the uh, buttons on the side it's kind of very convenient to have them uh, on the side but they they don't work at the moment i tried to install some provided drivers uh, real tech hd uh, audio manager but again it didn't help so you can it's usually can do this from this uh, so all good uh, right now I'm installing uh, before installing some additional drivers uh, uh, updated the BIOS from 7 to 8 from official uh, uh, from official they still support this so according to this let's say service tag there's only three available and again there is no Windows 8 as close as again the Windows 7 so uh, uh, BIOS was all right uh, wireless didn't want and I didn't install a I tried a couple other uh, of them so you can see it's kind of longer list but it's uh, quite dated so nobody updated this which is obvious so right now I'm trying to uh, do uh, a um, graphics card uh, so right now it's I have slightly misleading information so right now it says uh, 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 Radeon uh, HD uh, uh, 4200 series and with Two uh, two gigabytes. It's it's good size uh, for for let's say some gaming, especially for in full HD. If it's any of them, will pull it. So on the other hand, uh, uh, on this one, uh, GPU Z again. It was a CPU Z graphics without standard what our windows provided two gigabytes and this one it says pretty the same information, but it says memory size two fifty six megabyte. As I said before, so uh, as, uh, what I'm doing again right now, download, uh, downloading the legacy drivers back to 2000. Look at that, 2013. So basically, this one they stop at support as Windows 8, and yeah, hopefully they will. This, uh, we can get some uh, some use of it. So yeah. All right. After all drivers, etc. It's all good. So uh, after burner, uh, recognize there is no ability to uh, work clock. So almost 600, 580 clock and memory 533. So no other abilities to tune in. So let's close this guy. Yeah, uh, older version of uh, drivers is still here. All good. From adapter, I guess mystery sold. Uh, so we have uh, again at uh, 4200 series uh, and we have total available uh, graphic card 2000 uh, 2 gigabyte and dedicated 256 so I guess shared memory will be from RAM or something so again uh, definitely it wouldn't be a full-blown uh, gaming experience on this uh, gra graphics card so other than that uh, let's see, for example, uh, uh, Slim, it's still capable as a, so uh, a user, oh, again, now oh, you can see all touches, how inconvenient it is, so let me, so you can see it's still, uh, it's working very well, so it's live TV, for example, so let me close it again, come on, uh, for example, uh, Netflix, there, uh, it doesn't matter, uh, let's do wedges or something, So they also yeah all through Wi-Fi 
So all good. So yeah. mm -hmm. taking its time. So yeah, Netflix also works. And again, unfortunately, I cannot do this. Uh, you can do sounds out. So it's on. Again, this depends how fast Wi-Fi is. You will get better quality. So okay, let's close here. Other than that, it's all good. Again, two slot of uh, DDR3, so and it's a lot of uh, space to actually over over uh, clock or actually not overclock to upgrade. My bad. As there is additional hard drive and memories that you can put. It. So I, I guess that's it. So let me maybe turn it around for uh, last time. So again, from as I did before, from the side uh, volume. SD card, additional handset microphone power. So on this side we have this stand. So again, there is no up and down, but it can lean uh, a really big time. So you can see it's go all the way, all the way down. Not all the way, but significantly lower. So yeah, it works. This one on the other side, and again, it's on heavy side. So we have also a bunch of uh, USB, like up to four additional, also Ethernet cable if you do hard cord and not uh, wireless uh, internet. And yeah, and that's it. Uh, so used to uh, hold on. Yeah, I put it down so you will have better ability. So again, this is go almost to 90 degrees. Uh, two here and three, three legs here. Inspiron 12305, original uh, Windows label, uh, service stack, and lockers. That's it. Anything, uh, no other. There is no ability to use it. Let's say external monitor to choose some of some, for example, support and how to open. There is two screws. I will not do this. Most probably two screws here, and the whole plate is going out. And you will have uh, uh, here's DVD, um, uh, RAM, and hard drive, and some way CPU. So clean up or upgrade. I saw some mods that you can actually crack and put the additional fan, so your system will stay cool because it's really not a lot of um, uh, ventilation here. Only these holes, after all, and underneath. So yeah, yeah, no, it was a review of a uh, uh, <laughs> retro review outside Dell and Inspiron 1 uh, 2305, uh, 23 uh, inches, successfully installed at Windows 10, uh, professional with latest updates, everything worked with audio, wireless, and again only uh, maybe volume, but I guess it should be the trick out there to how to activate. Other than that, it's still pretty responsive, uh, 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 pretty responsive device with the touch, using as I showed some entertainment or let's say calendar or do your office stuff and maybe some definitely some gaming and again improve with let's say SSD and more RAM. I guess it's still kind of survive a couple of years along the way. Okay, thank you for watching, guys. If any questions, please let me know. And yeah, it has microphone and camera here tested on in Skype all works great yes thank you bye